Hello, and welcome to Multilevel Mondays, a weekly series all about pyramid schemes, Ponzi schemes, multi-level marketing, and other forms of business fraud. I'm the Illuminati, and today I'm gonna be talking about a very highly anticipated topic. Like I can't even begin to explain the amount of times I've been tagged on Twitter, in the Discord server, on TikTok, on Instagram, like everywhere I've been tagged about this MLM, and I've never even heard of it. So this company is called Boo or Black Oxygen Organics. It's an MLM that in essence sells dirt. They call it soil-based supplements, but let's be real, it's dirt. Boo has been making the rounds on the internet quite a lot recently, in part because of it being mentioned frequently on TikTok and other random corners of the internet. And well, it was kind of like this revolutionary cure-all for MLMers to market, I suppose. But with all the newfound information about Boo coming out, this topic has been requested, like I said, a lot. So I just had to see what they're all about. So let's dive right in and find out. Black Oxygen Organics was actually founded in 2015 by Marc St. Ange. According to Boo's website, he witnessed the benefits of European mud baths and how it profoundly helped a broad spectrum of health challenges. Mark specifically discusses this on a podcast where he claims that in 1988 to 1989, he was introduced to the concept by a German doctor. After visiting this doctor's clinic, he witnessed people in crutches and wheelchairs come out of this clinic walking after using this black peat mud. Boo writes that, Mark had a hunch that there was a similar fulvic acid rich mud in Canada. This led to the discovery of one of the richest sources of fulvic acid in the world in the Ottawa Valley, not far from Mark's home. Mark has since established himself as one of the world's most respected experts in the area of fulvic minerals. That sounds super convenient for Mark, that there just so happened to be one of the richest resources of this specific acid in the world right by his house. It's just a stroke of luck, right? Well, before we even get into the MLM itself, the products or the health claims, I actually wanna address the source of fulvic acid because frankly, it's one of the most laughable and dangerous aspects to this entire MLM. There are posts circulating that claim Moose Creek Bog, Mark's source, is right next to a waste treatment facility. And yes, you heard that right. Mark himself states that Boo uses the soil in Moose Creek Bog as it contains 36% humic or fulvic acid. So we know for a fact where they're getting this dirt from. Finding out where GFL environmental waste management is located is easy because this is a matter of public record. So before we've even gotten to the products and the testing, let it be known that these products are made from a soil that is right next to a landfill. Some sources insist that it's not next to a landfill or anything dangerous, but even on the map in the links they provide to show that if you zoom in, there's literally a landfill like right there, right next door. Does this mean Boo is automatically awful and dangerous? Well, not necessarily, but I sure as hell wouldn't want to ingest it or put it on my face after hearing that. Mark doesn't seem to mind though, and he doesn't think you will either. After all, this peat mud has helped people out of wheelchairs and crutches, right? That's what Mark said about that clinic in Germany, so it must be true. And they sure work hard to make it sound legitimate. According to Boo's website, fulvic acid is the end product and smallest particle of the decomposition of ancient organic matter. Organic matter is just a fancy way of saying peat bog. When extracted, purified, and delivered in a liquid supplement form, it carries all the nutritional information, antioxidant capacity, and genetic coding of everything in that decomposed matter. We know the fundamental building blocks of our bodies are the same as other organisms, so it only makes sense to nourish your body with what it is made of, optimizing regeneration and repair. In essence, it's just dehydrated and freeze-dried mud that is allegedly rich in fulvic and humic powdered minerals. These two things are what Boo advocates say set it apart. So what exactly is fulvic acid and what's a humic powdered mineral? Do these things actually make a difference? And is this truly so revolutionary that science just hasn't caught up yet as Boo claims? Or is this more snake oil? Well, let's take a look at both of these ingredients and try to find out. So I'm going to start with fulvic acid. And as a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not a scientist or a biologist. I don't understand these compounds or claims from a scientific perspective. So please feel free to, as per usual, do additional research. 
And as always, I keep my links down in my sources as to where I get my information. Still, I'm going to try and put this in layman's terms and take a look at some studies that discuss them so we can get a better idea as to where Mark is coming from. Fulvic acid is apparently a humic substance, which means it's a naturally occurring compound found in soils, compost, marine sediments, and even sewage. Both fulvic acid and shilajit, a substance secreted by rocks in certain mountain ranges, are seen as natural health medicines. Studies about the therapeutic potential of fulvic acid in chronic inflammatory diseases and diabetes seem promising, but not definitive. One from the Journal of Diabetes Research reads, FVA has been indirectly utilized in traditional Indian medicine for roughly 3000 years. The substance called shilajit, a tar-like exudate from the Himalayas contains about 15 to 20% FVA and is used for medicinal purposes. As per ancient texts, shilajit can have immune modulation, antioxidant, diuretic, antihypertensive, and hypoglycemic effects. In addition, when applied externally, it is claimed to be an antiseptic and analgesic. Reviews on shilajit indicate that the intake is safe. However, the pharmacological dosing of such molecules remain unknown. Despite such lack of information, shilajit FVA is currently available as a nutraceutical to the public. So is there potential here? Possibly. It's been shown to be useful, though the study also explains that toxicity may manifest itself at high intake and poor administration. In other words, FVA could have some great benefits if people are using it properly. It's not a complete sham or a waste to look into FVA, so long as you're careful and understand the side effects. Some of my sources only claim that it's possibly safe to ingest and explain that the research simply isn't there to say it's all right for people with autoimmune diseases, as it might increase activity of the immune system and worsen them. While there may be some benefit here, calling it the elixir of life or treating it as a cure all as some have done doesn't seem warranted. But what about Boo's studies? If they're marketing this as a fantastic revolutionary product, then they should have the evidence to back that up. Well, unsurprisingly, they don't. Not really anyway. If you click on the link for research on their website, it takes you to a 38 page document that's a compilation of third-party research on fulvic acid. They state that fulvic acid is energizing, serves as an electrolyte, boosts your immune system, and that it can be useful in treating everything from anemia to burns and cancers to open sores to strokes to common colds to HIV and yeast infections. Yet, if you actually look at these studies that they link, some of them are questionable to say the least. The first of them is actually one from 1841, which is very, very old to cite a study. On page 28, Boo's document reads, the man that is given credit for being responsible for the origin of chemical fertilizers is Justice von Liebig. You might call him the father of NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, because of his agricultural studies and discoveries with regards to these three elements. He lectured before the British Association for the Advancement of Science. His reasoning was that one could analyze the produce of an acre and return the nutrients removed along with adding a little extra. He argued that man and animals receive nourishment and support from plants, whereas plants derive their means from only inorganic substances. These lectures took place in about 1841. Eventually he was convincing enough that they accepted his buildup program. Agricultural science went on from that day to build their entire basis on his premise and has continued to this day in these practices without ever looking back. In 1843, Justice von Lieberg recorded the observations concerning his previous work, but it was too late and few listened. I had sinned against the wisdom of our creator. The opinion that plants draw their food from a solution that is formed in the soil through rainwater was everyone's belief. It was ingrained into my mind. This opinion was wrong and the source of my foolish behavior. So because the father of the fertilizer industry said later in life that he was wrong about soil, that means that this dehydrated mud is going to cure my illnesses somehow. Well, I don't really follow that logic either, but maybe I'm looking at Boo's information wrong. So I tried digging into Boo's other sources, though almost every single one is about 40 years old at best. Many of which, especially one of their more recent sources from the 90s, tend to talk about fulvic acid in terms of nature, not as a treatment. Either that, or they make hypotheses as opposed to definitive statements. 
I'm not saying that an old source is automatically a bad one, but honestly, this just left me wanting more research into Boo. Where are their studies proving that they specifically work? Again, I'm not going to sit here and say that fulvic acid has zero benefit whatsoever, but I feel that you'd be better off eating it as it's found in vegetables rather than the soil itself right next to a waste management facility, but that's just my preference. As for humic, the other massive component to Boo, the long-term effects of humic acid on soil doesn't seem to be fully understood at this time. A simple explanation on what humic acid is from soil biotics reads, Humic and fulvic acids are the final breakdown constituents of the natural decay of plant and animal materials. These organic acids are found in prehistoric deposits. Humic matter is formed through the chemical and biological humification of plant and animal matter through the process of biological activities of microorganisms. Humic acids are complex molecules that exist naturally in soils, peats, oceans, and fresh waters. The one source of humic acids are the sedimentation layers referred to as leonardite. These layers were originally deep in the earth's crust, but over many years have been exhumed to near surface locations. Humic and fulvic acid are both said to be good from removing heavy metals from aqueous solutions in a process called chelation, another selling point from Boo. Chelation therapy has long since been used for mercury and lead poisoning as it can help remove these metals from blood. As for why Mark acts as if we all need it, I've got no idea. Frankly, you shouldn't be doing chelation unless you actually need it because it's otherwise unproven and may be linked to kidney damage, irregular heartbeats, and other serious consequences. Even when this treatment is given in low doses, some negative effects can occur like high blood pressure, headaches, rashes, and more. That's not to say that Mark is advocating everyone go and get this therapy, but it's important to understand what these substances are actually used for. Personally, I'd argue that Mark presents it as a toxin remover when he says that these properties to fulvic acid are a powerful benefit. Sure, it's powerful, but as I understand it, chelation is for those that, you know, have heavy metal poisoning. Mark simply isn't giving us the entire picture here. The studies that Boo has to their name aren't about Boo themselves either. So until they actually prove that their product does what they claim, I'm taking this all with a grain of salt or a grain of dirt maybe? I don't know, you get the idea. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's talk about the products and claims. So Boo sells their powder or tablets for $110 a bag. And this is, from my understanding, dehydrated boggy peat moss from Moose Creek Bog. Then people will literally rehydrate it and drink it, bathe in it, wash their face with it, you name it. And that sounds delightful, I, um, I guess. This really does remind me a lot of Jilly Juice, especially for the reasons you're about to see in just a moment. Even though I was aware of some of the health claims were going to get pretty ridiculous here, I wasn't prepared for how bad it actually gets. First and foremost, the biggest claim that I see is that Boo Juice will rid your body of parasites. Jilly Juice anyone? I'm telling you. And of course, just like with JJ, they talk about candida and horrible side effects on the body, especially children, and how Boo is supposed to balance you out. But that balancing is a pretty gross process all around, apparently. Many people can be found claiming that they vomited up parasites or that worms have crawled out of them when taking Boo baths. I'm going to put a trigger warning here for this next section because some of this is just gonna get pretty just, it's just gross. And for those of you that saw the episodes on Jilly Juice, like you know that people use this on their pets and children too. So it's gonna be bad. One TikToker, Beverly, made a video of her sitting over a Boo foot bath with Boo dripping from her mouth. What's dripping off her tongue is so clearly nothing but spit and this dirt mixture, but she claims it's a parasite and tells her audience, get rid of your parasites, people. Some Boo supporters have given their dogs and children Boo baths, and one showed a photo of their dog who they claimed had recently been stung by wasps. However, once they were in the bathtub, their dog started to calm down and seemed fine. Frankly, I'd be incredibly concerned if that happened because difficulty breathing and weakness after stings can happen in pets. This is not an uncommon thing. Sure, this doggo calmed down, but was it the dirt, the allergic response, or just the fact that they were getting attention? I'm not sure I'd attribute this to Boo itself. Anyway, 
plenty of these boo enthusiasts claim to have passed tapeworms, threadworms, pinworms, ropeworms, whatever it is, whatever kind of pinworm parasite, whatever you wanna call it, they've claimed to have passed it. Some say they've done dental masks with boo and pulled parasites right out of their mouth. Other posts claim that boo will change the color of your eyes and that specific lines within the eye are indicators of parasites. To me, it looks as if these boo consumers just circled several random places in the eye within the graphics they show and it doesn't mean anything. The eye color changing genuinely appears like different lighting. Uh, And expectedly, there's no sources for this type of information. Another post even claims that Boo regrew their fingers. Like this is straight up Jilly Juice 102. They stated that they were sure to need an amputation because their bone was sticking out, but after putting some dirt on the wound, it healed and grew back. And to me, that bone simply looks like a blister that went away in time, but you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has an opinion on these type of photos. One specific seller has also made a lengthy video that claims that they kicked their COVID symptoms with Boo, regaining their taste and smell because of it. They also state that they went off medicine her doctor suggested for her anemia and Boo has replaced that too. I really, truly hope people do not replace their medication with Boo. Even if you do believe in it, it's no replacement for an actual prescription. COVID and cancer claims are probably two of the most insulting that I've seen boo reps say can be cured considering how serious these illnesses actually are. And again, to reiterate, there's no studies out there on boo itself providing or proving that these benefits are valid. Another disgusting testimony from a boo customer reads as follows. Yesterday was my first dose of boo. Have numerous underlying issues, most prevalent autoimmune disorder and good old Arthur. So this am noticed I could actually move my hands after waking, even showed the hubby. So he proceeded to ask me about bugs and I was like, I have only had one dose, no. So fast forward five minutes, I was trimming my old lady nose hairs when using a Q-tip, granted no mucus or anything, Um, I found a friend. Only thing that has come out so far, my husband, ooh, that's gross, he thought I was nuts. Can't wait to see what else I find and look forward to feeling better. Considering what we said about being careful using these kinds of products with the immune system earlier, these kinds of posts make me really nervous. How much independent research do these people actually do? Or is it all just trusting testimony? Plus, yeah, these little worm and parasite photos they show are disgusting, but I'm not so confident that it actually comes out of their bodies. The general consensus among anti-boo advocates and those that have been heavily invested in this MLM is that there may be some dead organisms within Boo's product. And once Boo users rehydrate them, that's how they discover these so-called parasites in their bathwater. That seems plausible to me, but obviously I can't confirm this either. It could be from the intestine, which we mentioned during one of the Jilly Juice episodes. If this were the case, well, then people would be seeing parts of their intestines in the toilet. And I can't confirm that. And at least Boo, the company doesn't seem to advertise their product as a parasite remover in the way Jillian did. But you know, these sellers sure are. I think one of the only claims of theirs that I do believe without a doubt is that it helps plants. It is dirt after all. There's also groups like Love the Mud from a Black Oxygen Organic Seller themselves that continue to spread these posts that come dangerously close to misinformation. Some of them are harmless memes, but then others like this one I found from August 14th says, "'After five and a half years of daily, all day long wearing, I've thrown away my glasses. I've lost about 10 pounds of unwanted puffiness, no dieting or extreme workouts involved. My hair is even getting thicker and seems to be reversing some of the gray back to color. This seller also encourages her audience to ditch pills for boo. And while she states that you can replace supplements for it and not medication, it does tread into that replace everything you have with boo territory. And it's just a bit too much to be comfy. There's also plenty of posts talking about the body's pH level and biology without any sources referenced or credited and inspirational quotes about success in business. This page also emphasizes at points that Boo is Health Canada approved, which frankly doesn't mean much, and I'm sorry, Canada. From what I can tell, any vitamins, minerals, herbal remedies, and homeopathic medicines and such go through the approval for natural health products. This approval isn't an approval of their claims or an endorsement to say the least. 
Truly though, there's absolutely no shortage of ridiculous, laughable, and yet dangerous claims coming from booth sellers and customers. I appreciate that this group highly encourages reporting these people to the FTC as opposed to bullying or targeting any sellers themselves. Aside from these Facebook groups though, the other claim I've seen circulating around Boo is a relatively common misconception. You can trace every sickness, disease, and ailment to mineral deficiency. Advocates for Boo say this relatively often because, hey, their product is dirt, so it's full of minerals you need, and as long as you don't have a mineral deficiency, you can't get sick, right? Well, that's just patently untrue. Nutrient deficiency can cause a whole host of problems, that's true, but it's not the sole cause of illness. According to Missouri's paper for the Department of Health and Senior Services in 2018, nutrient deficiencies or diseases can be the result of poor nutritional intake, chronic health conditions, acute health conditions, medications, altered nutrient metabolism, or a combination of these factors, and can impact the levels of both macronutrients and micronutrients in the body. They can lead to alterations in energy metabolism, immune function, cognitive function, bone formation, and or muscle function, as well as growth and development in the deficiency is present during fetal development and early childhood. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that less than 10% of the United States population has nutrient deficiencies. However, nutrient deficiencies vary by age, gender, and or race and ethnicity. For certain segments of the population, nutrient deficiencies may be as high as one third of the population. Does that mean that less than 10% of the US population can get sick? Absolutely not. Being deficient in vitamins, minerals, nutrients, that's not the only thing that may cause sickness. For booze sellers or customers to say otherwise is irresponsible because once again, presenting their product as a cure-all and miracle dirt when it's just, you know, dirt. If the concentration of fulvic acid in it is really high, which it may not even be, then that's great, but it's not as if there aren't other skin cares without fulvic acid in them. It's not like you can only find their ingredients in their specific dirt. It's been in skincare for a little while now and through companies that aren't MLMs. One of my sources writes, most importantly, the ingredient has cropped up as the star of the Inkly List latest skincare innovation, fulvic acid brightening cleanser. 1099. It utilizes half a percent Nordic peat, which is high in fulvic acid and is making waves for its ability to boost dull skin. Fulvic acid helps with exfoliation and can be used to help brighten the skin's complexion, explains Dr. Nasir. It has antioxidant benefits as well as anti-inflammatory properties, and some small studies have shown it to improve inflammatory conditions like eczema. Want fulvic acid in a mud mask? Go for it. It seems perfectly safe. And well, it looks to me like plenty of mud masks are on the market that have this ingredient. There's ones out there for $40, others on the luxurious end for well over 100, although honestly $40 is pretty up there, but bathing in it, drinking it, absolutely not, especially when the company is near a landfill. So before we take a look at the next part of Boo, which is all the downsides surrounding them, let's go ahead and take a quick moment to thank today's sponsors. All right, everyone. I think we need to talk about online shopping habits because if you don't have Honey, you might just be doing it a little wrong. Honey is the online shopping tool that scours the internet like a discount pirate searching for buried promo codes and then applies the best one to your cart. Did you like that pun? I like that pun. It's like getting coupons without ever having to keep track of them or even remembering to use them. And Honey is super simple to use. You install it on your browser and then shop like you normally would. When you're ready to check out, the Honey button just drops down and it's like, ahoy matey, want some discount codes? I don't know what's got me in a piratey mood. I've been playing uh, Black Flag, the Assassin's Creed game recently, so that's probably what's on my mind to be honest, but I am liking my bad puns. But in all seriousness, it does auto apply any working codes to your cart and bam, saves you money. So if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by using it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the channel. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com MLM. That's joinhoney.com MLM. MLM. This episode is also sponsored by Upstart. Do your palms sweat anytime you have to think about a credit card statement? It's normal. High interest rates can make paying off debt feel like an uphill and unbeatable battle, but Upstart can help get you back on track. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off debt with a personal loan, and it's all done online. Upstart is expanding access to affordable credit because they know that you're more than just a credit score. And unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at your income and current employment to find a smarter loan rate for you. So it doesn't matter if you're paying off credit cards, consolidating 
high interest debt or just need a little cushion for some personal expenses, Upstart can get you one fixed monthly payment. So if you wanna find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments, make sure you go to upstart.com slash MLM. That's upstart.com slash MLM. Make sure to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. You don't have to be alone to take control of your credit. Make sure to go to upstart.com slash MLM. So what about the negatives aside from crapping out parasites? Though it seems the sellers see that as a positive. Well, some have said that they're in pain from it after doing multiple hand soaks. Appearance wise, it looks as if the dirt is under and in the cracks of their skin or at the very least irritating it. Others have stated that after ingesting it for a few days, they're starting to have trouble swallowing and have tenderness and swelling around their lymph nodes, as well as a sore in their mouth. Many of the pro boo groups I've seen online largely tend to be sellers and customers self-diagnosing each other and giving one another health advice. So it doesn't seem like there's any place for these people to seek genuine medical help. It just seems like they're all stuck in an echo chamber with each other. Other sites have called them out for plenty more too, though I want to make it clear, I really can't verify a lot of these reviews. As Boo is pretty new and seems to have gained popularity only recently, there's still so much we don't know. Anyway though, one of these states. Google is Black Oxygen Organics a scam and read the Home Health Happiness page. The comments are full of what it actually is, a monster madman selling Ontario, Canada's biggest landfills dirt, including industrial waste with no legitimate permit to extract since 2012 and please repost the article and tell them to read comment section ASAP. People are giving this to their children. Of course, it's killing all the parasites and worms we naturally have in us, and it will poison us as well. He needs to be in prison. And another review claims, I joined a group because I had been taking Fulvic another way and was looking for a group for more information than just what I had researched myself. I asked questions in a polite tone and waited for responses. Totally ghosted me and I'm assuming deleted, no one at all responded and I can't find my original question. I'm going to continue taking my fulvic from Cellcor as it is helpful for me and leave the group I found online. Always a red flag when no one publicly posts pricing info, needs to PM you privately to have any discussion about their product and ignores responding to people that aren't an easy shoe in for purchases, garbage. There's almost no information whatsoever about them on BBB, even though those that advocate for MLMs don't advocate for Boo. David Bykowski gave his personal opinion on Boo in a video that says Black Oxygen Organics is a poor choice for MLM enthusiasts. He explains that he liked the product and how long the founder had been invested with the product and became a top earner. It was when the higher up stopped listening to their employees, changing the formula, raised the price by 28% and began taking 10% of commission away from distributors with no communication that David says he got upset by Boo. Although I haven't seen much conversation about this online, I have seen other comments on YouTube videos that mention that their product used to be cheaper before it was suddenly increased by around $40. I understand that there isn't much of a source, but unfortunately there just isn't much about them from larger or more reputable sources. David's experience with them sounds terrible and his main issue as I understand it was their ethics. I won't speak more about his claims other than that they just really can't be verified, but if these claims are true, well, we've certainly seen worse from an MLM than just issues with management. As for if you can make money with Boo, you need 10 sales to make $225 according to their own compensation plan. I'm not saying that it isn't possible, but frankly, the health risks are just not worth it. Promoting something potentially dangerous isn't worth it. And the fact that you can make this much at a part-time job speaks volumes. I wouldn't be comfortable promoting this to people I care about, not when I wouldn't use it myself. Yet fulvic acid has become increasingly popular these days, which while great for Boo, it just feels like another controversial and largely unproven health trend. And believe it or not, Kylie Jenner is in part to blame for that popularity, or at least the validation. One August 2021 article reads, last week, Kylie Jenner gave her 34 million plus TikTok followers a peek into her daily diet. In the brief video clip, the billionaire entrepreneur and reality star reveals that she takes her coconut water straight out of the shell, eats the same healthy looking Chinese chicken salad that her older sister, Kim Kardashian, feasts on every day. 
and the tiniest portion of pasta imaginable and drinks lemon water enhanced with a few droplets of a mysterious black potion. If you're curious what the 24 year old beauty mogul is adding to her H2O, Black Water confirmed on Instagram that it's one of their most popular products. Black Drops Concentrated Fulvic Changed, a liquid supplement consisting of fulvic and humic ionic trace minerals, AKA soil. The drops retail for $24.99 for a two ounce bottle. The brand that Jenner uses claims their fulvic and humic acid drops are effective in replenishing any lost minerals for stamina and strength and supporting muscles and skin at the cellular level. Though there are no specific scientific evidence to support those claims. The thing is, as we've seen with MLMs multiple times here before, if there's just a little bit of evidence to support a claim, I feel like many MLMs will latch onto that. The positives are emphasized when the negatives are either forgotten completely, dismissed, or explained away. In this case, the biggest negative to Boo that I can find is that it isn't proven and it may or may not have a ton of dead bugs in it. It could be dangerous, but as no one suffered any lasting negative consequences that I could find, it's too soon to say. The thing is, peat bogs are genuinely incredible, even if they're not a cure-all. They fight climate change, and though they only make up about 3% of global land area, their deep layers of peat are full of carbon. One New York Times article reads, dried peatlands could be restored by allowing them to become wet again, which would saturate the decaying vegetation and prevent further release of carbon dioxide and also eliminate the fire hazard. Rewetting them is really the core for reaching mitigation targets, Dr. Pop said. Most pathways for countering climate change predict that by the end of the century, land use, which includes forests and agriculture, would be a net carbon sink, meaning it would store more carbon than the amount being released into the atmosphere. That would slow the process of global warming. Not only that, but peat moss healed the wounds of thousands in World War I too. According to the Smithsonian, in 1914, doctors like Sir W. Watson of the Royal College of Surgeons of England noted the horrible prevalence of sepsis and, by 1915, a British report warned that thousands of wounded men were threatening to exhaust the material for bandages. Desperate to get their hands on something sterile that would keep wounds clear of infection, doctors started getting creative. They tried everything from irrigating the wounds with chlorine solutions to creating bandages infused with carbolic acid formaldehyde or mercury chloride with varying degrees of success. But in the end, there simply wasn't enough cotton, a substance that was already in high demand for uniforms and its recently discovered use as an explosive to go around. What were the allied powers to do? A Scottish surgeon and botanist duo had an idea, stuff the wounds full of moss. Yes, moss, the plant. In ancient times, Gaelic Irish sources wrote about using moss to pack wounds. Native Americans lined children's cradles and carriers with it. Moss can hold up to 22 times its own weight in liquid, making it twice as absorptive as cotton. Anyway, I know this turned into a bit of a history lesson at the end, but I just wanna make it clear that I do believe nature is incredible. I have nothing against someone that uses a mud mass to help inflammation, but there's a big difference between that and someone saying that it's going to suck the parasites out of their pores and bring around healing. Science is incredible too. And sometimes those that advocate for natural treatments like this one forget that side of the coin. All in all, I think this MLM is like a discount jelly juice. It's not quite as bad, but it seems to be getting there. And if left unchecked, it absolutely could surpass that. Hopefully this seems like it's a fad and it's probably going to die out soon. And if not, I'm sure we'll end up seeing plenty of clones in time. But with that being said, that's where I'm going to end today's episode of Multi-Level Mondays. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure that you're liking, following and subscribing so that you can stay up to date on all the latest episodes. Thank you so much for making it to another episode. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.